John, thank you. Yes, we are back outside. We're with the Imagination Station. We have their chief scientist with, with us this morning, Carl Nelson. I was getting a little foggy there. Thanks again for joining us this sure, morning. Sure. I don't get to get outside during our show very often, so thanks for doing this. What do we have this now? This is the classic experiment that we do during our Super Splatter Science Summer Camp. It's Say that three times fast, please. Super Splatter. I can't. <laughs> I don't can't. But what we can do uh -huh. is some really cool, crazy science. Let's here. do it. So what I have is hydrogen peroxide. Okay. It's not the stuff you have at home. This is 35% concentration. You have 3% at home. Okay. More than A 10 times more concentrated. Okay. okay. Definitely don't want to get it on our hands. That's why I have some down in this container. All right. Some uh, food coloring. Probably a lifetime supply of green food coloring. Go ahead and dump that <laughs> I in. I would say it okay? is. Okay. <clears throat> we want this stuff to be very, very bright when we do it. Yes, now, sir. Now, the hydrogen peroxide is actually H2O2. Okay. Sounds a lot like water, right? That it does. Has an extra oxygen molecule. What we are going to do is we are going to release that extra oxygen atom, create a lot of oxygen gas. Now, we want to capture that in some soap. Can you just add a whole bunch, of, just a of big course. squirt, a right. huge squirt down inside there? <laughs> Perfect. That is okay. perfect. Um, I'm going to do the same with mine over here. Should and I put on some gloves? You should put on some gloves. Okay. This is going to get messy because it's <laughs> super splatter Who science. doesn't love, like you mentioned earlier, we're going to get messy at the Imagination Station, and who doesn't like a little mess unless you're in the kitchen or in the living room? Now, this chemistry is really kind of cool mm -hmm. because right now nothing is really happening that we right. can see. But if we add a catalyst to this, some potassium iodide, we are going to very, very quickly break down that hydrogen peroxide. We're going to get a ginormous, well, let's just do it and okay. find out, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen. Do I need happen. to scoot back? No, I think okay. you'll be okay. Right. So we give you a little countdown. Just go ahead and pour that in. All right. So we're going to go three, two, one, dump that it. in. Yep. All at once. What that's going to do is break down the hydrogen peroxide inside there, and we're going to start to generate a lot of oxygen gas. The soap that you put inside there is going to help capture that gas. Okay. And it's a little cold out here today, so most chemical reactions slow down when the temperature is cold. Very true. But as this begins to come out, we're going to generate a ginormous <sighs> bundle of foam. And Look at that! It kind of looks like a tube of toothpaste being squashed, and that's where the name yes, elephant's toothpaste comes from. Now. You had a, a flat, uh, graduated cylinder there, okay? Mm -hmm. So you get this kind of stuff that comes out and flows over. We're going to see what happens if we do the same reaction. You don't want to touch it because I was about to say, I really do want to touch there's that. There's some steam coming off I this stuff. I do see that it as is well. It is an exothermic so reaction. So it it'll burn. It will actually be a little bit warm. Okay. You definitely don't want to touch it. And you might want to remove your phone from the table there. I'm going to do the same sort here. of thing you did. Okay. But again, in the flask. So we're going to generate some pressure here. Uh -huh. We're going to see what happens. So I'll pour it in. And as that reaction proceeds, we're going to get <laughs> that scared me to death. a nice little squirting of oxygen gas. And look at the steam coming off it. You I can stick your that. hands over it. It's, we can actually warm up out here today because it's so you warm. You really could. It is really, really warm. So this is one of the things that our campers will do in uh -huh. Super Splatter Summer Science. They'll do a small version, right. and then we'll do the giant version outside. And what's cool is they can talk about the chemistry behind it and have a little fun as well. Which is my favorite part. I do love the chemistry behind all of this. The education that you get at the Imagine Station is, um, you, you can't match that almost anywhere, I have to so say. You can't get this by reading a book or watching Discovery Channel or anything no. like that. You actually have to physically do it. When you feel the heat coming off an exothermic reaction like that, when you see the oxygen generated, it's something you're going to remember, especially when you head into chemistry class. Very, very true. Thank you so much for showing us this this morning, for letting us get in on this. Again, you want to head out to the Imagination Station to check out some of these summer camps. Can you give the dates for those? They start next month, the 15th, okay. but you can register now. All right. So head to our website. Get get in while you can. Do it right now. All right. We have a lot more coming up in the next just couple minutes here on NBC 24 Today. We will be right back.